everyone. Welcome to the Slasher Hour. I'm Lurch. I'm Dark Man. Sit back and crack a cold one and enjoy. Sorry, it's a little foggy in here. Um, I just bought a new fog machine. And now it looks like we're in a Cheech and Chong video. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Wiz Khalifa's mind. Um, so, before we get started, it is spooky season. Happy October. I know it's like six days in and we're a little late, but happy October, everybody. So, um, yeah, uh, Darkman, before we get started, Darkman's got some few announcements. He's going to start off with some birthdays. Okay. October birthdays. Evelyn. Louis. Ah! Brianna. Liana. Liana. Mike. Josh. Sam. Brenda. Summer. Jessica. Amanda. Lindy. Ernesto. Joey. Michelle. Sarah. Tiffany. Jonathan. And Daniel. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Slashers. Mm -mm. All right. So, Dark Man went to Wendigo Fest, and so... Yes. Uh, ooh. Got you this. Ooh, you got me something. Yes. All right. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Check it out. It's a magnet. It's got Lurch and Fester on it. That's dope. Thank you, brother. Yeah. I love it. Well, what's this right here? It's just uh, the player for the next show down in Chicago. Oh, cool. That band was actually Asylum. Asylum? Or Absolution. Oh. It's a ghost cover band. They oh. were actually at Wendigo Fest. Oh, were they? Yeah. Did, you, did you see them? No. No? No. Awesome. So tell us about Wendigo Fest. Well, Wendigo Fest is basically everything Halloween and celebration of the Wendigo. Ooh. So uh, what were some of the activities that you did down there? Well, we saw Rat Bat, Rat Bat Spider. Awesome. Um, there was a lot of vendors, Halloween type vendors and stuff like that. Um, we actually, there were some authors there that are from the Midwest that actually go around and haunt, go to haunted locations, try to find the Wendigo and Beast of the Midwest and stuff like that. That's really cool. Yeah, they actually went up on stage and did like, a, a, they talked for like an hour about the Wendigo. Okay. So, what know. is exactly, what is exactly? It is Wendigo? native. It, it's, the Wendigo is around the Midwest, the upper Midwest, plus Canada. Mm-hmm. Na it's native lore where there's like three stages of becoming a wendigo oh okay and uh it's usually the male the head of the household that becomes a wendigo yes he starts i can't remember step one but step two is he starts getting the the, the taste for human flesh yeah. oh. um and the shaman can save them from the first and second stage, mm -hmm. once they taste the human flesh, there's no turning back. Oh, so once I taste human flesh. Yes. And see, the modern version of the Wendigo has the, it looks like an animal. It has uh -huh. the deer antlers and fur and all that stuff. But actually, a Wendigo is, like I said, the head of the household. Mm -hmm. And you can recognize them. They're skinny. And they bite off their top lips, or top and bottom lips. So you, you see their teeth and all that stuff. and So... Cool. Yeah. Cool. And uh, did you uh, see anybody else there? Yes. I well, I met I met uh, Doug from Rat Bat Spider. Doug. Um, I met a guy named Dead Edgar, mm -hmm. who does kind of like we do, but more like Elvira. Type, okay. Like Met the Dead. Oh, okay. It's uh, they. It's called Deggers. Dark. See now I'll screw it up. Dark Coffin Classics. Okay. And then and you do horror movies? The horror, all old horror movies Ooh, and stuff like cool, that. Cool, so, cool. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, are they part of the Slasher Club? Not yet. Oh, they shall be. I invited them. They shall be. Yeah. They shall be ours. But they're um, out of, he's out of Kenosha, Milwaukee area. Okay, so it's in, it's in uh, Wisconsin. Yep. Very cool. Sweet. Had a good time then? So oh, yeah. Sweet. We, yeah, we saw the parade. We saw the kids' costume contest was awesome. Mm-hmm. There was a girl that dressed up like the girl from the ring. Oh, cool. Her dad actually made this out of tub. He surrounded it with styrofoam to make it look like a well. Awesome. It was on wheels. And oh, that's awesome. She could awesome. be pushed around or she can walk in it. Uh, there was uh, the girl, two girls, they were twins, dressed up like the girls from The Shining. Awesome. That's awesome. Um, 
there was a little boy, Georgie. Mm. He, you know, he put his arm in his raincoat and, you know, like he lost his arm. He was carrying around his little boat and all that stuff. That's awesome. That was so awesome. There was a girl who didn't enter the contest, which I think she should have. She dressed up as Tiffany from The Bride of Chucky. Okay. She looked exactly like The oh, Bride really? of Chucky. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. What, did you dress up at all? No, no, I didn't. Why? I don't know. I just didn't. I wore, I, although, I did wear my... One of my Freddie and Jason shirts. Uh -huh. And when I met Dead Edgar, he said, yeah, I know Kane personally. And he would think your shirt is cool and then choke you. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So Kane uh, Holder wasn't there then? Kane Holder wasn't there. He was sick. So, oh, COVID? But it was, no, it wasn't COVID. That was one thing they said. It wasn't not COVID related, but he is. That's good. Good. They got him booked for next year. So. Yeah. Well, then we got something to look forward to yeah. next year. Sounds like a lot of fun then. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so let's get down. Let's get down to our cool episode. So we're going to do. We're going to run through uh, every Halloween movie, and we're going to pick out our top kills from every Halloween movie from 1978 all the way to the brand new one, which was released in 2018, and getting ready to um, for the new Halloween Kills that comes out uh, next Friday. Oh wow! A week from week from Friday. The fifteenth, so I'm looking forward to it. I think we should we should go. Kimmy was talking about going, so we should yeah. all just do a big slasher party and go. So okay, so I'm gonna go first. So I'm gonna go start with obviously uh, Halloween. Uh, it was released in 1978, it was October 25th. It was written and directed by John Carpenter, starring Jamie Lee Curtis, P.J. Souls, Nancy Loom, and Donald Pleasant. Uh, the box office it hit 70 million dollars. Um, my favorite kill from that particular movie has got to go to Bob the Ghost. Now, Bob the Ghost is Linda's boyfriend. He mm -hmm. goes down to get Linda a beer. Michael Myers meets him in the kitchen and stabs him to the wall. Mm -hmm. That's that's my favorite kill. My first favorite kill is his first kill. Very first kill when he was six years old. Oh, yeah, his sister. Yeah. He nice his sister. He dressed up in his clown outfit. Yeah, good kill. Yeah. Good kill. Okay, and then going on to my personal favorite movie, Halloween out of the entire franchise is Halloween Part Two. Released October thirtieth of nineteen eighty one. It stars again Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Donald Pleasant. Uh, box office at twenty five point five million dollars. My favorite kill, and it's actually not a Michael Myers kill, but in the movie they were able to tie Ben Tramer, which would have been Jamie Lee Curtis's. Uh, date in the first movie mm -hmm. and he's in a oh, mask yeah. and he's walking around and the cops are like is that him is that mm -hmm. him and uh dr loomis is like he's gonna shoot him he's like i don't know i don't know and he hit, gets hit by the car and blows up awesome it burns alive yeah so i love part two and a lot of people don't like it but part two is my favorite because without part two there would be no franchise oh yeah there would be no action you would never find out th about sam hayne mm -hmm. and you would never find out that uh, Lori Strode and Michael Myers were sisters. That the brother and sister. Mm -hmm. th that part is a huge piece to your franchise. Without oh, yeah. this movie, without that information, even though it's just a snippet, that is huge. It it throws the entire. It's what is why there are so many. If there was just gonna be uh, a Halloween, and there was no part two, then it would be like a cult classic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My favorite one out of that one, out of part two. The boiling of the nurse. Oh, God, I love that scene. I love the fact that he doesn't just strictly kill people. Um, I love how it takes place in the same night. Mm -hmm. How it's just a continuation story, and it, that that's so awesome. Mm -hmm. And he stalks her through town. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I like it because there's so many ways that he kills Michael Myers. Michael Myers kills people mm -hmm. without stabbing them. Yeah. You know, most of the time, he uses a, a, you know, a scalpel. My other favorite part... It's where they're in the hospital and they finally meet up. Loomis and the doctor and the police officer finally meet up mm -hmm. with Lori in the hospital. And he walks straight through the door. Mm -hmm. And Loomis just ganks him like six more times. Just boom, 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 boom. And he just drops dead. And then uh, the cop goes to check on him. He's like, don't check on him. He slits his throat with the scalpel and mm -hmm. follows him. Mm -hmm. And then Lori shoots him twice in the face and then they blow him up. God, that, that. And so that, what's cool about that is the fact that in part two, 
he Michael Myers was originally supposed to die. Mm. So John Carpenter got uh, his hands on on three and season, uh, which was season of the witch, which wasn't going to have anything to do with Michael Myers because it was going to be a different story. It was, they were going to try it where they made two Halloween movies, but then they got the idea of, like, well, we can do, you know, a scary story every Halloween. Mm -hmm. So that was John Carpenter's idea. So Season of the Witch um, is one of my favorites because it's a, a lot of people hate it. So Season of the Witch you know, was released in October 22nd, 1982. It was written and directed by John Carpenter. It box office at $14.4 million. It stars Tom Atkins... And my favorite kill has to go where they rip the homeless guy's head off. Mm -hmm. the, you know how you've seen, you've seen that movie, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, so like the robots are like, um, they go to like the Shamrock store, the little town that they're in, and they're like trying to figure out what's going on. And then like, all the dude, bad guys, henchmen are like, like androids, like robots. So they get the one guy who's trying to tell Tom Atkins' character, who is a drunk doctor for some reason um i don't know why he's there anyway he they he corners him and the two they these two robots kill him and he, he's on his knees and he just pulls his head off and what's cool about that is the guy who pulls off the the dude's head is actually michael myers i believe in the first one okay so what about you what is your favorite i part? didn't i don't really remember that one no no i've seen it but i don't really remember it so Okay. Well, I'll let you slide. Hmm. Uh, we're going to go to on the Halloween Four, released October twenty first, nineteen eighty eight. It stars the very talented Daniel ha Harris and Donald Pleasant, and it made seventeen million dollars in the box office. My favorite kill. Now, now hardcore horror movie fans, we they, we we love the shitty ones. Hmm. Um, so season season three is right up top. So and then you would go down from there. So. Uh, Halloween 3 and then go down from there. So Halloween 4, my favorite kill has got to go to uh, Kelly, where Michael Myers fucking sh yep. shoves the shotgun through mm -hmm. her stomach. Yep. It's so ridiculous, but it's such it's so great. Yeah, that was my favorite. Yeah, one. that was awesome. Yep. And then uh, moving on to Halloween 5, again stars Daniel Harris and Donald Pleasant. And it was released October 13th of 1989. It made $11.6 million, so it made significantly less money. Mm -hmm. um, Tina, she gets stabbed. Uh, that movie is a little... It's uh, That movie's a little weird, but mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of back and forth. Um, Tina, which is one of her, Daniel Harris's character's uh, sister's friends, mm -hmm. she um, she gets... She goes to save... Uh, she goes to save... Um, Daniel Harris goes to save her, or uh, Tina goes to save her, mm -hmm. yeah, from Michael Myers, and he just pulls her back and just stabs the crap out of her. It's it's really good. Um, do you, you seen Halloween Five? Yeah, that one. So you got Halloween Four is Return of Michael Myers, mm -hmm. then I think Halloween Five is Revenge of Michael Myers. Yes, I do believe so. And then it goes to Halloween Six, uh, starring Donald Pleasant and actually Paul Rudd's, and I have an argument with my friend earlier today. This is Paul Rudd's very first movie. He made Clueless and Halloween Five in the same or Halloween Six in the same year. Um, and let's see here. Uh, I have to go. It's okay. So it was released October thirteenth of nineteen eighty nine. I don't know. Excuse me. September twenty fifth of nineteen eighty five. And I'm not sure. Oh, fifteen. It made fifteen million dollars. Nineteen eighty five. 1995. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, my favorite kill is Gotta Go, where Jamie Lloyd is actually an older, just an older woman, and he he's chasing her, and he they get to the compound, the combine, the farm equipment, yeah. and he picks her up and just tosses her on it, and she goes to like reach for his hand, Michael, Michael, and he pushes her farther on it. Mm -hmm. Fucking great. Oh yeah. Okay, and now uh, we're moving. What about you? You like the yeah, same that's kill? the same. Yeah. Movie. Okay. Uh, and Paul Rudd plays uh, Tommy Doyle for some. <laughs> no why. Okay, and then so we don't see another movie until August fifth, nineteen ninety eight, which we get Halloween H two O, starring Jamie Lee Curtis, Josh Hartnett, uh, Janet uh, Janet Lai Lee, um, Jamie Lee Curtis's mother, LL Cool J, Adam and uh, uh, Ken. I'm murdering people's names. I'm really sorry. Uh, Joseph Lord Joseph Gordon Levins, and uh, my favorite kill from that movie. Has got to be where uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt gets the ice skate through his face. Isn't that where they're in this mansion or some crap? No, she's no. a she's a like a pristine like 
headmistress. Oh, that, that's that's what I meant. The, yeah, the it takes place yeah. in like, California. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And like Michael Myers comes back and like stalks his old nurse and finds out where she's hiding, mm -hmm. and you know he Michael Myers stabs him in the face with an ice skate. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that movie only made seven million bucks. Seven million dollars. Okay, and so we don't get another movie until August, July 12th of 2002, and that's Halloween Res Resurrection, which isn't my favorite at all. Uh, it stars Jamie Lee Curtis and uh, Busta Rhymes mm -hmm. uh, uh, with an assorted other characters that shall not be named. <laughs> <laughs> the only cool part about that movie is where he actually finally gets to kill Jamie Lee Curtis. He stabs her when they're hanging off the... She has to, like... So in, in but a, neither one of them actually die die. I know. So like, in, okay, the ending of H two O was amazing. She cuts off his head, and that's the end of it. That's the end of it. She just he's pinned between the the tree and the ambulance, yeah. and she takes a fire axe and just whacks his head off. And then some d bag decides to get another get the get buy the rights from the movie and writes off that it wasn't really him mm -hmm. and like he gets to finally stab her so Jamie Lee Curtis is only in it for like maybe 20 minutes 15 minutes and he finally kills her and that's my favorite part of that whole movie because the rest of the movie is just horrible I mean it's not even like horrible so it's so good it's well, horrible and it's like okay Buster Rhymes actually kicking Michael Myers ass mm. you know that would make absolutely no sense <laughs> no Buster Rhymes you suck <laughs> Buster Rhymes. Ooh, ah. <laughs> I don't know any of his music. I remember some. You liar! You have Buster Rhymes. Oh yeah, CD in your it, truck. it's right on my my playlist. I know it game. is. And don't lie to me. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then we're gonna get to the remakes. Halloween 2007. Rob Zombie's remake. Um, it stars Sherry Moon Zombie and, ha and has Daniel Harris back in it. Um. This was released August 31st, 2007, made $80.4 million, and I actually, I love this movie. Mm -hmm. I, I do have mixed feelings on it at times. I don't know how I feel about so much backstory on Michael Myers, but at the same time, for this movie, it really works. It explains a lot. It explains a lot, but it's really cool. If it's a remake, he can just have fun with it, yeah. you know? And it's it, he already had success with, that, with um, House of a Thousand Corpses. I believe this was his second or third movie he tried. And that was it, his third one? Yep. Okay. So I I really love this movie. Mm -hmm. I mean for what it's for how it's set up, it really does work. Mm -hmm. Um the backstory, if you if, if John Carpenter would have I've heard John Carpenter hates it, but I, I I dig it. As a horror movie fan, I love this movie. Um my favorite death is the boyfriend where he's sitting in the kitchen making a sandwich and Michael Myers beats his head in with a baseball bat. Oh, yeah. That is so awesome. As a kid. But as a kid. <laughs> and then as an adult, when he kills Laurie Strode's parents, where he her dad gets up from smoking a cigarette and he just sucks him right in the mouth and throws him into the house and just stabs the shit out of everybody. Okay, we got we need to backtrack. Why? Before before the remakes, there was one room I can't remember was it four or five where Lori's adopted dad? No. Uncle? Was it uncle or dad? It would have been his... It would have been... So, four... So, Lori isn't in four or five. When... when okay, so in part four, yeah. it's explained that that Daniel Harris's character, Jamie Lloyd, mm -hmm. is actually um, Lori Strode's daughter. Yeah, okay. And Lori and her husband died in a car accident. Mm -hmm. That's how it's explained. It's a basically a whole different story. So, or is it five? Where that abusive father, husband. Oh yeah, that, I think that that's six. That's six. six you're thinking of. Yes, that you're forgetting that killer in the basement where he already killed off the wife. Uh huh. You know, and he goes down and you're, you're just, the washer's flooded and all that stuff. Okay. And then Michael come, you know, Michael comes up and puts him against the electrical box. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That was that him or was that with the mom? How did he kill the mom? I can't remember how Does he killed show him. Does it? Yes, they show it, but I can't remember how he killed her mom. But the him shoving the guy up to the electrical box. That was pretty great. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty great. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's part six you're thinking yeah. about. Okay. Yeah, when the kid holds that knife to his stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty great. Yeah. Um, okay, so moving forward to Halloween remake part two uh, in 2009, starring Rob Zombie, Sherry Moon Zombie, Daniel Harris, Malcolm McDowell. Um, not my favorite. No. 
not my favorite at all. It went totally off track. I, I don't know what the fuck this white horse shit was. I didn't understand that. I mean, someone maybe could explain that to me a little bit better, but I couldn't. I didn't fucking get it. And then uh, the, the character Lori mm -hmm. um, sees her mom and her sister the whole time. No, he sees her mom and Michael Myers. Well, no, and, like, Michael well, Myers is holding her down, and, like, Loomis is making money yeah, off the, of the there's that kid and... off in the... So it has to be his sister he killed in the first one, technically. No, he sees he sees Michael Myers, she wow. sees Michael Myers and his mom, and it's like, Mommy, bring her home, oh, bring yeah. her home. Yeah. It was some, it gave you some cliff note about, about the white horse, which made no sense. And what pissed me off the most about that movie is the first part of it is a fucking dream. Yeah, yeah. Where he's murdering people in the hospital, where he gets the fucking, uh, the security guard with the axe or sh kills the shit out of the nurse. Mm -hmm. Those kill scenes in the first, like, ten minutes of the movie are, are amazing. And the set of the movie is so awesome. And then it turned out to be a fucking dream. I was like, what the fuck is this? But, uh, my favorite death scene in that movie, uh, is actually Daniel Harris's death scene where he kills him in the bathroom. That was really great. Yeah. Um, so part two, remake, 2009. It was released August 28th, 2009, made $3.9 million. So it made in the box office. So it did significantly worse than the, than the success of the, of the first 2007 remake. Okay, moving on. Whoa, whoa, sorry. What's your... My favorite one is where she finally comes out after Michael is shot and on the ground. And the cops have that, that shack surrounded and all mm -hmm. that shit. She comes out, picks up the machete, and she gets she gets shot. Yeah. You know. But she's not dead. She's not dead, but still. You know, it's like... Really? You didn't think, like, Mark Boone Jr.'s fucking death well, scene? Yeah. When he puts the mask on? Yeah. They showed too much of Michael Myers' face in that movie. That pen, that doesn't that doesn't work for me. Yeah. She rips... The, the stripper rips his mask off. Um... They like he he makes a lot more sounds. You you see a lot more of his face. I don't. But like the only that. other time you saw Mike Myers' face in the beginning is the end of first one, the beginning of the second one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we can argument. We can probably argue that two thousand nine Halloween two Rob Zombie's remake is probably the worst at all. Oh yeah. Are we going with two being the worst or Resurrection being the worst? Two. Okay. That's because so even Busta is better than. This right. yeah. weird crap yeah. that's going on. Mm. All right, so last movie, uh, Halloween, two thousand eighteen. Sorry, Jamie Lee Curtis, Nick Castle, and Jerry Greer. Um, this movie box office. Are you ready for this? Two hundred and fifty five point six oh, million dollars. Holy shit, that's nuts. Um, I love it. this movie from start to end. Is Action packed. It's so awesome. I I love the start of it. I love the very end of it. The whole movie mm -hmm. is amazing. Um, so it was released in 2018. Uh, I didn't get the release date. I don't remember. Uh, I think it was released in October, probably October 15th probably. of 2018. Uh, my favorite death scene in the entire movie because there's not a lot of on-screen kills. I think there's only like two or three. Uh, Doctor Sa Doctor Sa Sartain's um, head smash. Yep. The foot stomp. Yeah. Or or when they're following him. When, when they have, like, a whole minute and a half clip of him just going house to house, mm -hmm. and the, they, they see him walk around that house, and he stabs that lady in the back of the neck. Oh, 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 man. My favorite revenge kill in that movie is uh, when those two investigators are going up to Michael, <laughs> trying to taunt him with the mask and all that shit, and they... And they uh, Say just, something, Michael! Yeah. So, okay, he finally he meets him at the damn gas station. Uh, goes she after the girl. Tosses all the teeth over the. Oh thing. yeah. Or then beats the shit out of that guy. Like slams oh, yeah. his face against the wall and then like throws him against the uh, the the stalls and just beats oh, the yeah. shit out of him. Yeah, that was that's that was the best yeah. yeah. So and then uh, the new one comes out October fifteenth. Uh, it stars Jamie Lee Curtis. That's got some of the original characters back in it from part one. This is going to be amazing. Uh, John Carpenter's got to dip his hands in it. It's going to be awesome. The music's going to be great. Uh, October 15th, 2021. We're going to go see it. I'm excited. And yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, why don't you guys uh, leave us a comment and uh, uh, what, your, what are your favorite, 
what are your favorite kill scenes? What's your favorite one? What's your worst? What's your least favorite one? Let us know. Drop us a comment in the comment section. Uh, like and subscribe if you're brand new. Um, tell us we suck. Because we us know. We, yeah, we already knew. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. Anything? Uh, you got uh, any other horror movies you've been watching since the spooky season started? Well, they've been showing Friday the Thirteenth. I don't. Uh, I don't like that movie. Yeah, uh, no. I like Friday the Thirteenth, but I don't think it's a Halloween movie. Not really. It's okay, so there is only like a handful of Halloween movies you should watch. At it, at on. on but Halloween. see, I watch what's on TV. I don't. I like Fear Fest. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but Walking Dead's on. Okay, so here's the Halloween movies you should watch. All the Halloween movies, even the 2009 remake bullshit. Okay, so all of them, Hocus Pocus, Ernest Scared Stupid, and Halloween Town Ernest are the Scared only Stupid. top movies that you should ever watch during October. What about Nightmare on Elm Street? Because I've seen that this weekend, too. It's still, it's, it's, that's, that's a horror movie, but it doesn't take place during Halloween. There's not a lot of Halloween, like, oh, and Trick or Treat. Don't forget yeah, Trick or Treat. That movie's yeah. amazing. Uh, I love that movie. Mm -hmm. mm. Anything else going on? No. You are. No. Huh? You have nothing? No, I got nothing. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is awesome, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, if you've got nothing else to add, I think I'm good. All right. Yeah. Well, until next time, I, I'm glad that you thank you guys for stopping by and uh, enjoying our uh, little spiel we got going on. And um, yeah, leave a like and a comment. And um, until next time, I'm Lurch. I'm Darkman. And you've been slashed. <laughs> Watch this didn't record. <laughs> That's going to mean every, oh, every my time thing, though. My foot fell asleep.